Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of data structures. What today's topic is spanning tree and minimum spanning tree. And then we will see Prim's algorithm to find MST. That means minimum spanning tree. Hi, this is your instructor Janis Shah. So let's begin with the today's outlines. Students, first we are going to learn about the spanning tree. That what we exactly mean by the spanning tree. Then the properties of spanning tree. Then we will see that how can we convert a normal graph into a spanning tree. Then, then take a look at the minimum spanning tree. And at last we will see the Prim's algorithm to find out the minimum spanning tree. So let's begin with the first definition of the spanning tree students. The first we have the spanning tree. Spanning tree it means it means a tree that spans all the vertices of connected and undirected graph. See, spanning tree is for the undirected graph and the connected graph. Okay, so as well as when a tree that spans all the vertices of connected and undirected graph that is known as spanning tree. Make sure this is spanning tree that means there is no cycle over there. There is no closed path over there. Fine. Now. Next we have the properties of the spanning tree. The very first property have is the spanning tree must contains V minus 1 edges. Okay. See if a graph contains 9 vertices then the spanning tree contains 8 edges. If your graph contains 12 vertices then your spanning tree contains 11 edges. That means the spanning tree contains minimum V minus 1 edges. Next we have to make the spanning tree, to make a spanning tree you need to remove, you need to remove E minus V plus 1 edges from your graph. Remember the student, we need to remove E minus V plus 1 edges. Okay. Next spanning tree is maximally acyclic. That means there is no cycle over there. Then minimally connected. That means all nodes are connected with each other. But with minimum edges. Next we have the maximum number of spanning trees. See students, from a particular graph how many spanning tree you can make it will be decided on the number of vertices or we can say nodes. Okay. So, the maximum number of spanning tree can make from vertices V is V raised to V minus 2. V raised to V minus 2. So, let's take the example if I talk about the V is equal to 3 that means there are 3 vertices are there in my graph then the number of spanning trees are 3 raised to 3 minus 2 which becomes 3. Next is the to remove we need to remove E minus V plus 1 it is that means to make the spanning tree from graph we need to remove 3 minus 3 plus 1 that means 1 edge then our graph contains 3 minus 1 edges that means 2 edges. Fine. So students if we have a graph of 3 vertices and 3 edges then our spanning tree must contains two edges. Okay. So let's take the example. Example number one, make a spanning tree from the particular graph. So here it is. See, this is the best example to show in the theory of spanning tree because it is a minimum graph. It contains three vertices, yes, and three edges. Fine. So it is A, B, C are there, which are which is a graph, okay, undetected graph. So, how can I make a spanning tree from that? Let's take it out. First, convert this graph into the spanning tree. Okay. So, how? You can remove one edges. That's why only two edges are remaining over there. But make sure that all loads are connected. So, it is C. I am just removing only one edge. That is AC. I am removing one edge AC. Okay. So, ABC is a spanning tree. Right now, here there you can see the first figure. A, B, C is our spanning tree because I have already removed one edge and my spanning tree contains two edges as per the rule. Next we have such like this. We can also make spanning tree like this. A, B, C. Here I have just removed B, C line. Okay. Next we have A, B, C where I have removed A and B line. A, B line, A, B, H I have removed. Okay. So these are the three different spanning trees. Okay. Students, if you have seen, here we have 3 vertices, so we can make maximum 3 raised to 3 minus 2, that means 3 raised to 1, that means only 3 spanning trees. So here are the spanning trees which I have just made 
from the particular graph A, B and C. Fine. Now, let us take a look at the another example of how to make a spanning tree. See, here are the four nodes are there. Four nodes are there. Okay. But six edges. That means we have B is equal to four and E is equal to six. So how many spanning tree can make from this? V raised to V minus two. V raised to V minus two. That means four raised to four minus two. That becomes sixteen. So from this particular graph, students, you can make total sixteen spanning trees. Fine. So let's make sixteen spanning tree from here. But we first we need to understand that how many edges our tree should contain okay so here it is we have removed three remove three edge and it contains three edges so both are same okay out of six we need to remove three edges why e minus v plus one e is e is six v are four that means 6 minus 4 plus 1 that becomes 3. So you need to remove 3 edges and you have 3 edges in your spanning tree. So here it is. See, the first, this is my tree graph. This is, I need to convert this into the spanning tree. Then, here it is. This is my first, number 1. What I did, I just removed 3 edges. Okay. And this is my first graph. See, it cut first spanning tree it contains three edges okay next i have like this see this is a uh, reversible u this is u form okay so a b b c c d this is another spanning tree next we have a d d c c b another spanning tree and next we have b a a b b c fine so here we have four different spanning trees Still, we have remaining total 12 spanning trees right now, okay? Because we need to make 16 spanning trees. We just made 4. So, let's see. Next. Next, we have number 5. So, here it is number 5. Spanning tree. A, B, A, D, A, C. Then, A, B, B, D, B, C. Next, A, D, B, 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 C. Next, we have students. C, D, C, A and C, B. So, here are another four spanning trees. Now, let's take a look at the next slide. So, the next we have nine. Number nine is C, Z. Z, it goes like this, Z. So, it like A, B, B, C, C, D. Next, we have A, B, B, D, B, C. Next, we have D, A. See, this zigzag. D, A. Okay. D, A, A, C, C, B. And next, we have A, D, B, 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 C. Another four are here. You can check it out. See, this four. If you think that this cross is cycle, so you are wrong. This is not a cycle. Okay, they are just intersect with each other, but it is not a closed path. Okay, remember, this is not a closed path. They are just intersect with each other. Here again, I have only three edges because if it is a closed path, then the source and destination node must be same. But you can say. If I am talking about the figure number 13, then here I have D, B, A, C. D, B, A, C. D, B, A, C. Fine. So, in figure number 13, we can easily say that this is not a closed path. It is just a two edges that intersect with each other. Now, let us take a look out the next algorithm minimum spanning tree. So, students, the minimum spanning tree, see, from, from 4 vertices you can make total 16 spanning trees so after this all 16 spanning trees we need to find out a spanning tree with minimum weight and the spanning tree with minimum weight it is known as minimum spanning tree fine so here we have 16 different uh, scenarios to get the spanning trees but after this 16 we may have minimum spanning tree only few of them so, how to find out the minimum spanning tree? To find out minimum spanning tree students, we have two different methods. Here we have the Prim's algorithm and next we have Kruskal's algorithm. Fine. So, today we are going to learn about in this lecture about the Prim's algorithm. So, here it is.
first the prims algorithm to find out the mst mst stands for the minimum spanning tree okay so here it is we have graph like this a b b c so whenever you talk about the graph you have to draw like this a b b c c e e f f a outer part first then inner part a d b d c d e d f d okay so such like this you can draw your graph the weights are already given over there okay so what you need to do in the prims algorithm let's begin with the steps so first you need to select a vertex or first node see students you can select any node in prims algorithm but i prefer to go with arbitrary wise okay that is my choice but you can go or you can start to make a minimum spanning tree in prims algorithm from any node okay so start with its minimum weight adjacent edge first you need to select a node then start with its minimum adjacent edge okay and then then just repeat this steps always make sure that it should not make a circuit that means it should not be a cycle let's see how so here it is see this is these are my nodes and just representing it okay just for my purpose total weight you always need to write the weight after every step so here it is see the i'm start i'm going to start with node a okay so here it is the node a there are no edges are there that means the total weight is zero now now you just need to select first node so it is under selecting node a then find out then you need to find out the adjacent edges students which edges are adjacent of a see these edges like ad ab and af a b a d and a f these three edges are adjacent of adjacent of a but after of these three edges you just need to take out the edge with minimum weight that is a b that is a b so here i have a b as a minimum weight so i'm just going to select a b over there so draw a b so here it is a b and the weight of a b is 2 that's why students after step number 1 my total weight becomes 2 so right now i have two nodes see a and b both so what you need to do is you just need to find out you just need to find out the edge with minimum weight from a and b adjacent both so here i have ab adjacent so here it is see af af adjacent edges of a and b both okay so here we have af then ad then bc then dd so out of this all four edges we have an edge with minimum weight that is ad which contains a weight 5 so what do you need to select we need to select ad so i just in step number 2 i need to draw ad over there okay so now my total weight becomes 2 plus 5 that is 7 that is 7 okay now we have students we have three nodes a b d so you need to find out the adjacent edge with minimum weight from all of these three nodes so here i have just already given all the list of adjacent edges a f b c b d d c d e and d f so out of all these i find out the edge with minimum weight that is b c that is 3 fine so what i need to do is i just need to draw an edge d c so here it is d c edge weight is 3 and it is added in the total weight so total becomes 7 plus 3 it is 10 my total weight becomes 10 now step number 4 So here I have in step number four, students again I need to select adjacent edge with minimum weight from node A, B, D, C, all four nodes. Here I am just finding out the edge with minimum weight E, C, E, that is five. That is five. So what I need to do is I just need to select an edge C, E that contains weight five. So here it is. I am drawing it. Okay, weight five. So ten plus five that becomes 15 so here it is my total weight is 15 after step number 4 my weight becomes 
now next here i need to select consider students five nodes a b d c and e all five nodes i need to consider so out of this the age with minimum weight is ef that is 2 that is 2 okay so i need to draw e and f that is 2 now if you may ask me that sir what happens if i have both adjacent edges with the same weight like ef is also 2 and de is also 2 so at that time students you need to select any one of them okay don't go with for both you just need to select any one of them and move ahead fine now here i am just selecting ef now tell me students my all nodes are there in my answer yes see a b c d e and f all six nodes are there in my answer okay is there any cycle over there no there is no cycle okay all nodes are connected with minimum edges minimally connected and maximally acyclic these are the properties of spanning tree so this is my minimum spanning tree whose weight is 17 okay so my total weight of after prims algorithm after applying the prims algorithm the total weight of my mst is 17 okay so always remember the steps first you need to select any vertex then you just need to select any adjacent edges of that vertex with minimum weight okay after that you will get two different vertex so you need to select adjacent edge with minimum weight from both of them again repeating these steps until and unless you will get your answer or you will get the all nodes connected with minimum edges fine so that's it for today's lecture students Thank you so much.